the release of the the data, I think, predictably led to uh, several responses, particularly from uh, uh, some of the spokes people for the different sectors, but also from some of the media, from the newspapers and the editorials. And what we got out of it, they compared the funding levels for different systems. So the non-government sector, the independent school sector is the highest resource level, combination of public and private. The government sector comes in second and the, the Catholic sector comes in third. And um, this for me is very, quite disappointing. Quite predictable, but quite disappointing because you can't make comparisons. They're quite illegitimate. Uh, there's no basis for making those comparisons because the three sectors are all quite different. The My School website, therefore, I think is quite misleading because even school-based averages are, are not, are not uh, are misleading. We can get an individual student who's got a full-time teacher's aid and that could cost $40,000, $45,000 a year. $45,000 a year on top of the normal cost brings the cost of that student to something like six times the cost of an average school student. That's a small school, that would push the average up substantially. It's an illegitimate comparison. Um, so I'm not sure why ACARA and the government didn't think about this, or even if they're conscious about it, but um, that's disappointing. and. Uh, we, we should be trying to move to a basis where we start talking about students uh, and the cost of edu educating a student rather than doing system level comparisons, which are most unhelpful. What are all kids entitled to? What are the needs of all kids? And how do we get a funding system where we recognise the unequal responsibility of different schools and different school sectors to uh, educate all kids. And let me stress that the, the responsibility to educate all kids is not evenly distributed within the government sector. And it's not evenly distributed in the Catholic sector. There are some Catholic schools which take greater responsibility for educating all kids than do some government schools. So you're getting this highly, uh, highly mixed sort of school system. So we need a fun funding system that takes account of those three needs. Uh, and on that basis you need to, I think, layer it. You layer it with a, some sort of funding guarantee. You say to all schools and all students, no matter what school you go to, you will get an adequate level of resourcing for your, to, to meet your educational needs. Then you need to say with another funding stream, well, we recognise there are highly, uh, highly unequal needs across school systems. And we can show this from the government school systems in particular, where there's a huge amount of funding that goes to needs, mainly disability and small communities. So that's the second factor. And then we need to look at a funding system which gives incentives for schools to take on that public responsibility of um, educating all kids.